Hey everyone, Richard here, and today I have a CSG graded card return. So let's get into it. Alright, so I have a graded card return. Um, I already know what the grade is. That's because at one point the, I guess, status disappeared on it, and I clicked on it to see if it would come back. And I ended up seeing the grades doing that. So it was just sort of a minor glitch in the system. Nothing actually went wrong. I just happened to see the grade. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because this was more just a test to see what these looked like, essentially. Um, I sent off one card expressed here. It's a baseball card. And it's one of the oldest cards in my collection. Um, not one of the oldest things I have, period. But yeah. Uh, so that I'm just going to cut into it so we can actually look at it kind of give a little review of what I think of it, see the label firsthand. And yeah, so we'll be right back. All right, so the card is out. Let's have a look at it. We've got a 1911 T205 gold border How Chase card. This card is 110 years old, so quite an old card. Like I said, I already knew the grades, so nothing new there. First impressions, it's a very hefty case. It's very solid. I played with it a little bit before I brought it on camera. Um, it has little clamps in the corners. Uh, the case itself is great, crystal clear, like it. Uh, as far as the label goes, first thing I noticed was that it got the miscut designation. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was, was or not. Uh, I put a little note on my order form saying I thought it was miscut, because you can see there's part of a card up here. But I wasn't sure if they were going to heed that or not. Uh, but obviously did they did. Uh, I like the, the layout of the grade and subgrades. Uh, you can actually get these without subgrades, but I think it would be a pretty empty looking label without them. Uh, I think they add quite a bit to the aesthetic of the label, plus it gives you a whole lot of information that you otherwise wouldn't have. Uh, as you can see, it's a smaller card, so it's actually in a sleeve inside of the case, which, if the light hits it certain ways, doesn't look as nice. Um, that's sort of a minor thing. It's protected in there. That's really what matters at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. The label has a really nice hollow, like, pattern to it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, for those of you who don't know, how Chase is an interesting character. Uh, probably would have been a major Hall of Famer uh, with the Yankees, but he threw games and bet on said games and sort of got himself into quite a bit of trouble. So interesting bit of history there, but it's a 110-year-old card. Just glad to have it encapsulated, uh, especially because it was sitting in a box since, I don't know, 1998, uh, when I quit collecting cards. So, yeah, overall, no real complaints. Uh, glad I did it. I'll definitely be using CSG again. And if you guys have any questions about the case, about the process, something I failed to mention or think about, feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, that's all there is. Hopefully this is useful to somebody. And uh, take care, everyone.